Howdy! My name is Nora Hoffman and I am a proud member of the class of 2020. I graduated in December 2019 with my degree in International Studies, a minor in German, and a minor in Business. Um, from August 2018 to August 2019, I did the all-year reciprocal exchange in Tübingen, Germany. Um, so the type of program I did um, was a reciprocal exchange, which means that students from A&M are allowed to go to Tübingen, and then students from Tübingen could come to A&M for either a semester or an entire school year. And the reason I chose this program was because it was the most cost effective. You still pay all A&M tuitions and fees, and you don't have to pay any additional fees um, for the program. And so if you look at the amount of time that you're studying abroad, it's more cost effective than just a 10 week or a semester program. I also wanted something that was gonna be really immersive. Basically, you're enrolled in the university, um, so in Tübingen in my case, with the guarantee that the classes you take will be able to transfer back to A&M, but I was responsible in choosing the classes I took, signing up for housing at the university, signing up for a food plan or whatever other things I did there, um, and my professors were actual professors at the University of Tübingen, and my classmates um, were from all over the world. There was actually no other Aggie or really no one else from Texas that I met during my time there, and so it was really an immersive experience and something very different than I would have gotten if I had just stayed in College Station. Something that really pleasantly surprised me was how quickly I felt connected to other international students. Before the semester started, I did a four-week intensive German language course, and in addition to learning German, we also went on a lot of day trips and did a lot of cultural activities and projects. Um, and it kind of reminded me a little bit of Gigum Week or maybe Fish Camp, where everyone's new and they're nervous, but they're really trying to make new friends and they're really open to that. Um, and that's exactly how I felt with the other international students. So many people wanted to know what life was like in the US or in Texas, and I was really curious to know more about their culture. And it was really cool, even through the differences that we had, um, we're all young people, and we were all excited about learning more about Germany, and so there was also a lot of connection, um, and a lot of those friendships lasted the entire year I was studying there, and I still have contact with some of those friends today. Another thing that really pleasantly surprised me was the Aggie Network. When I got to Germany, um, I decided in my second half of the year that I would like to try to find a job here and remain after graduating. And so I was able to go through the Aggie Network website and email every Aggie who was living in Germany at the time. Um, and through this inquiry, I was able to meet with Mr. Williams, who is the Deputy Chief of Staff at the U.S. Army Europe um, base, Clay Caserna. And through that, I was able to spend the entire day with him at the Army base and get to see what that's like. And that was such a cool experience, um, especially coming from A&M with our military tradition um, and the connection we have to the military. It was really cool to see it in action in Europe while I was here. During my exchange, I took a mixture of classes taught in English um, with other German students or classes taught in German just with other international students. And before the semester started, I took a four-week intensive German language course, which I highly recommend to any student studying in Tübingen. It's called the Compact Course. And I was able to get six credits from A&M for taking this course. And it was worth it alone for the fact that they helped me with my student visa paperwork. They helped us all start bank accounts. They helped us register for our first semester of classes. They were there to answer any questions we had about housing or life in Tübingen. Um, there were also German students who were in the course who were there as mentors to us if we needed assistance. And that was also where I made most of the friends that I had throughout my year there. Uh, because in addition to just having language um, classes, 
We also took a week um, trip to a popular um, vacation destination nearby. We went to Lake Constance, we went to Stuttgart, to an opera, um, and just a lot of cultural activities that helped us better understand the place that we were studying in. And then once the school year started, um, throughout my time there, I took a couple of courses in international business that were in English. I took a course on citizenship, which was very interesting because there were students from all over the world in that course. Um, I took another course on social policy in Europe in which I learned a lot. Um, I took additional German language courses, a course on intercultural communication, and then a course in German about German culture and history, which was very helpful um, considering that I was living there and that helped explain a lot of the cultural differences that I had been seeing firsthand while I was there. While there's several things that I miss about my time abroad, one of the biggest was probably the ability and the encouragement to frequently travel. During my year abroad, in addition to traveling extensively through Germany, I was also able to visit Austria, Switzerland, Czech Republic, France, the Netherlands, and Ireland. It was also great having classes with students from so many different countries, and I really appreciated the experience to expand my horizons that I received from that. Something that was also super exciting was experiencing everything new for the first time. Um, I actually, after I graduated, ended up moving back to Germany, and that's where I live now. I work for a software company in the Stuttgart area in the marketing department, um, and so I'm back again, but at the same time, I don't think there's ever anything like the first time that you go to a Christmas market or you experience a beer festival or just go to a cafe or go to a castle or just the stereotypical German things. Um, and so that's something that I'll always treasure that my time in Tübingen was the first time to really experience European culture and German culture. My advice to someone who's still on the fence of whether they want to do such an immersive and long-term study abroad is to do it. If you really want to learn the language and discover the culture, then I think a year is the perfect time to do it. I was able to live with a host family, which of course is a little bit scary at the beginning before you know them, um, but turned out to be so wonderful for me. When I came to Germany, my German was not that good, but by the end, my language skills were good enough that I was able to get an internship at the software company where I now work and speak to my colleagues in German. Um, and I'm not an extremely gifted language learner. It was really that if you are every day hearing the language and doing your best and just putting yourself out there, you will learn so much faster than you will in a traditional language course. I would also say, even if you think, well, I don't want to live in this country after I graduate. I want to stay in the US for the rest of my career. I would still recommend that you study abroad. Um, there are so many situations, to name just a couple. Um, the first week I was here, I was having a hard time getting my bank account set up. And so I called the help number and I spoke in English and asked them to help me and they hung up on me. And so then I was sitting in this beautiful park in Tübingen. I started crying and I thought, oh no, I have no money. I can't speak the language. I'm here for a year, what should I do? And then I decided, okay, my German is awful, but I'm gonna call them back and do my best. And by the end of the call, the other person on the line was trying to speak in English and we were both laughing and we solved the problem. And that confidence boost was so important and so invaluable to me. Um, and then a few months later, I was taking a large train journey and one of the trains was canceled. Well, then when I went to the office, the employee said that they would not give me my money back. Well, in German, I was polite, but I was firm. And at the end, I was able to get my money back and a train to get back home. And those are just two of many examples I can say that when I came back to the US and something was difficult or I was uncertain, I thought, hey, if I can survive and somewhat thrive in another culture who's speaking another language, then I can do that here. And I think that that confidence is so valuable for any career that you choose, no matter if you live in the US or abroad or anywhere else, and that can help you um, throughout your life in any career path.